Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we are picking up the game on the 17th of December 1977. And the game's on pause for a couple of reasons which I will explain in a little while. But first, a big thank you for your comments and feedback. As usual, you guys have given me so much to think about. And just to give you a little bit of feedback on some of those questions, somebody asked about why I keep using small stalls in my towns. And I'm assuming that they were referring to Gravelton. And probably the best way to explain this is that the population of Gravelton is not going to be that big because I like to control the populations of my towns when I'm laying them out. And generally, I have a pretty good idea of how big that population needs to be. And in the case of Gravelton, what I want is to provide enough workers to drive the construction industry here, plus provide workers to some construction offices which will push out this way. Although, truthfully, there's not going to be a major town out this way until we get over to about here. So there's going to be a lot of road and rail construction coming out here. But although, having said that, there's probably a good chance that I will be building something over here. That's the way I end up playing. And of course, eventually, we'll be pushing roads out here. And I'm going to be building a small town on here to drive the port that will be down here and other elements over this side of the map. So I've kind of worked out roughly, I need a population of around 2,000 in Gravelton. And I think that should be enough to support this industry here. Because we don't have a lot of area anyway, because we're gonna to have to have put the coal, um, because we're gonna have to put the heating up here. So the, 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 the town, or probably a small village actually, I mean, so the, the actual town is going to have to fit into this corner with the tracks here. The only thing I did realise is that I could really of put in, not put paths, um, connections here. So I'm kind of half wondering whether I could get away with changing this. But then again, I suppose I could just live with this and just use a little truck to move things backwards and forwards. Because we have got the cargo station there and there. So that was one area of improvement that I could put in. And I do want to work on laying out Gravelton in this part. Now, another um, comment I had was to do my construction offices down here. And they said they were a little bit unbalanced. And I agree completely with that. What I've really been doing is just moving the vehicles over here to be able to get some construction going in this area. And of course, what we're going to have is Petrograd up around here. And what I want to do with the construction offices is we've got two large ones there and I've, I've put out another one which is a little bit further out here, this construction office here. And what this is going to be is my uh, road crew because we're going to have to push a road out through this way towards the doors of Durin. And more importantly, up here, I'm probably going to put another farm, possibly another small town. And of course, we're going to have to drive through this divide with a tunnel. In fact, th three tunnels, one road and two rail. So that's going to be quite a big undertaking. There's, so there's also a very real possibility that up here, we're going to have to put another rail construction yard, probably up in this area here, so that it's going to be very close to these two tunnels, because these tunnels are going to be very long, just to show you. Yeah, through round, literally right round to about here. So that is going to be a, the challenge going forward. It's probably the polite way of saying it. Now, I've got quite a lot of things I need to do in this video, so we better crack on. And the first thing I want to talk about is one of the ways this game can really catch you out. You think you've got everything under control. You, you, you don't pay attention to something and suddenly everything goes wrong very quickly. Now, if you watched the previous video, You'd be aware that I started building this shopping mall here because uh, I was getting a bit of a food problem in this area and if I click on some of these buildings you see I've got a totally different problem in the fact that the population in this area is virtually completely tanked <laughs> and the reason for that is if I come over to here and click on this wood cutting post you'll see that it's got a mountain wood in forest zero amount of dreaded transport zero despite the fact that there's trees everywhere and, and I'm not sure exactly what caused the problem, whether it's these rail tracks or whatever. So what I want to do is I'm just going to do a bit of an experiment. I'm going to put a, a road route 
like that. Oops. Trim this back a bit. I'm just wondering whether the... and Because what actually happened was... The... <laughs> okay. Got all these power lines are in here. Yeah. I don't want that cancelled. I just want a mud road through here. And what I want to see is whether these vehicles here will come out and start to cut down the forest in this area because they seem to be ignoring it. And that's exactly what happened is as I, well, if I show you, if we come to uh, XKP, so I push this back to like the beginning of October, what you'll see is that massive spike of, of um, escapees. So, so I lost 2,896 escapees in a couple of months. And the reason was that this stopped working, the temperature dropped, and everybody started leaving very quickly. Luckily, I did have a few over 21s to put in, and I've still got nearly a 1,000 to put in, but I've been kind of putting them in slowly at the moment while this area settled down, because the way I solved the problem was is I brought this one online, and, and he was able to start going out and picking up the trees up here. In fact, let's just put here some trip more and they've been quite industriously picking we're just going to put some more trees here but you see that so we put some trees over here just to pop that up there i also filled in this area so a lot of these trees on this side of the track are well, trees that are growing and they're not ready for harvest at the moment so that is another problem and in the other way i've fixed it is in this office here i've bought a couple of open holes and they're actually bringing logs in from over here to help su supplement it but the heating still remains a little bit erratic and i think and that what i'm going to do now is we're just going to move over some over 21s because the population's got a little bit dangerously low as i said i've got piles of them so actually let's start up here but i don't want to put too many in until this shop's built so, so we're going to have to try and fit things in the best we can. Right there, so let's, let's grab some from there. You see, we got loads of them. And I think we're right here. So we'll start with here. And we're put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll put some more over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm a little bit worried about taking too many people out of this area. We'll just kind of steal some that. But I think we can now let the game run forward because I want to see how the over 21s drop. We've got quite a few down here that we can pick up. I picked some from there. We got maybe, maybe a few, few from there, and we'll take a few from the center so that we can we don't kind of steal all the population from one area. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this pop one's not very big, so we we'll only take about 30 from here. Two, three, four, actually, 40. One's a lot bigger, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then I think Portsmouth has got a pile of do we take some from there and some from there, some from the top as well. these in two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight then more oh, just drop you into this top section here and then we'll just leave that just to settle down a little bit I mean, the populate. Now, the second reason I stopped at this point is the fact that I've been looking around during the winter 
looking for areas where I need technical officers. You can see here that my technical officers haven't been clear in this area. I've got a, te a technical um, office here. Also over this area as well, there's no coverage. So I've got a technical office there and I'm kind of considering putting a technical office up here as well. So maybe we'll put a technical office just in here. See if I can find it. Why not? Oops, no. Where is it? There it is. Technical services. And I'd like to get it in there. That would be quite good. This this is a kind of a bit of a dead zone. And then down over here, we've got some coverage out here. I'm not sure where they're coming from. I think they've also put one in up here. I'm not sure where these guys are coming from. I think they're coming from over there. I don't think there's any technical offices here. I, but I've put another one here just to cover up this area. And I can't remember and another one over here. Because keeping these roads open in winter are going to be quite important for the construction in this area. And then I think over here I've put another one here. I think that's about it. So I've kind of put a lot of technical offices in at the moment. And things are generally going okay. I think this is a distribution office which I've put in because what I want is this distribution office to move the resources up to a small open store that I've put here which should provide the resources that will yeah, be able to sort of drive the build process over here. Now down here my steelworks has had a few problems uh, during the last couple of months because what I've found is that it keeps running out and if you follow the series you'll be aware that I was actually building a sh hopper ship here. That hopper ship now has joined my fleet of ships that are supplying this port now here. What I've actually got is two coal ships. We've got that one there, that one there and we should have two ships moving iron it looks like they're both loading out on the border there so now I'll be quite interested to find out is whether line spacing would actually affect ships but at the moment that's resulted in my steel production being a little bit erratic but it seems to be getting through one way or another now railway wise I've nearly finished this section here but before I start pushing out this way I want to complete these sections I just want to make sure that the train is doing his stuff because he kept that. Oh, see, he's done it again. Go on, go. We're just going to get that built and then we'll build these sections in. I've had several comments of people saying that I should have another construction train. I did think about it for a long here, but I think with this rail network and this having the, the one of them to come around this loop to build this. I think there will be a problem with respect to this track because if I show you the signalling at the moment you can see this kind of breaks out all this way so this is all one unit at the moment so before I buy another construction train I want to finish off this area take this loop out where's the we got this um, crossover here so that should be okay so because the alternative is to get to speed this forward I'd have to put signals here and it might make life a little bit difficult on the other side of the map the truck the construction train this way is doing really well you can see he's actually pushed all the way up no the reason he hasn't finished this section yet so he's actually there he is he's doing his stuff and it looks like he's gonna finish this in this part let's just speed that up a little bit so, so he should finish this and what I'm inclined to do is actually bring him back and start laying up the other side of the tracks we'll just let him get through and finish this and what probably will happen is that yeah we're gonna take you off that <laughs> and we're gonna so that cheats a little bit in the sense that yeah, he's instantly being transport tra teleported back to base 
and what we'll do is just get him on that section there. I want to keep these roughly parallel on the way up here. They've got a long way to go. And I don't really want to put a crossover in this section here until probably I'll, I'll probably have to put a crossover up here somewhere actually come to think of it because somehow we've got to be able to build through and round here now now another major step forward is over here I've, the game is kind of the construction yards have kind of built things a little bit in reverse order so we've got this now finished I can set that to coal and this is pushing forward quite nicely and so what I'm going to do is we're going to probably send a bus out here actually I just noticed that there's no footpath so I would like to have a footpath possibly through here like that hopefully they get picked up and we'll make sure they're allocated to slow the game down again I want the game I want to get out of the winter period but at the same time I want to be able to ah. okay let's just cancel that for the moment and then we'll add the island road crew as well get them building these footpaths what's that one there and we'll add the island farm road crew to that Um, what I want to do is get, put a bus on here now the workforce here is only 15 but what I'd like to do is get a few more staff out here I'm not sure I think I've got a feeling that there's a couple of micro buses coming to here we got here oh huh. this is now finished so I think if we get in uh, by a 32 seater bus see where is it checking the fuel there we keep an eye on the fuel situation as well because that's a potential problem I think if we go for on these 32 seaters and then we're set a route up great new line and we're I want to do is pick up from this stop here we'll drop the workforce up here and we'll just call you what what what's what this place is called actually <laughs> uh we'll, we'll call it winchester oh oops oh or or now just Pick that up. Thank you, game. And then we we'll set the vehicle to line. That. You can just pick up the workforce here. And you can unload there. Then we'll get you going. And what that will do is get a small workforce into here, which should then turn all this lovely calm coal ore here. I think it's the, it's what's it? Yeah, it's two coal ore to one coal. And then what we'll have is a nice full area here of coal once we get the power station and the heating complex online. Because one thing I would like to do is get some heating into this area. Because I've suddenly realised that with the coal heating plant here, we're going to get pollution move into this area. So Winchester itself is going to have to kind of come out this way a bit. So what I'm thinking is a a heat exchanger somewhere in this area. Unfortunately, I've kind of messed things up a little bit with the power lines here. So let's see. I mean, if I can go underground. Uh, really looking forward to being able to heating underground switch underground switch 
heat pumping station. This is the big one, isn't it? Can't see. <laughs> big on. It's that way, isn't it? There it is there. And I could put in a, a little heat pump type of thing here. Maybe move it back a little bit. So that it comes in behind the fire station there. There's a kind of a bit of a dead zone next to those power cables. So just put it say about there. And then oops. Then we can put in a heat exchanger say about there. Gonna put it in the centre here. Like that. And maybe a little bit this way. So that it's that zoom in. Oops. I will just hook you up like that. And then I would certainly would like this to be all ready. Oops. By the winter. Probably the polite way of saying it. Or well, next winter. <laughs> and uh, I might want to use this space, so I think what we'll do is we'll come out like that behind, behind the technical office and then come down to about here and then go up kind of over like that. And then if we can kind of go into that one there. Then we'll just accept those pipelines. We're gonna have to put a. Of course, we're gonna have to kind of curve around like that. So we we should be able to get heating into this area, and then we can expand out this way. Oh, actually, there's a footpath there. I wouldn't mind a, a footpath picking up about there. Coming in about there, so we'll drop a footpath in there as well. That means we're going to get some uh, facilities and buildings in this area, working with the shop here. So, I was hoping that my money would build up, because what I would like to do is buy a template here, or a one of these tankers but at the moment well, I'm gonna I really need this my cash to get up to about 1.5 million if I can do that then I can start turning out these um, full in tankers ready for when the oil refinery comes online but at the moment I think the problem is it's the cost of buying the iron ore that's giving me a problem yeah, we're out of iron ore again and it's not a ship in sight <laughs> see I mean I'm really de heavily dependent on exports of electronics so we've got some electronics that we just need another ship to come in and take them away I'm slowly grinding my way through here and with the emphasis on slowly this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to do again I think you'll probably find yeah, a shortage of steel that's causing the problem Hopefully, once we get past the winter, things might speed up a little bit, although that won't change the speed of ships. I want to take a quick look. We've got the usual problem with sport in Winchester, but okay. We've got a few over 21s. I, I just want to keep those in reserve until we get out of this winter. As long as the population here is reasonable, I mean... People are not totally happy, but that's understandable. Now, somebody did post a comment about my meat um, manufacturer, and I agree with them completely. The The meat down here is a little bit of a disaster. It's not really working according to plan. 
But what I'll be doing eventually is is completely reworking this area. Once the oil refinery is up, I'm going to take this small oil refinery out. I mean, it's doing its job at the moment. It's keeping the the fuel in this area here. But I think once the refinery is over there, then we're going to bring in this um, fuel distribution centre here in and working. And, and what I'll do is completely revamp the fuel distribution. We'll get rid of this oil refinery from here. And, and effectively what I'll probably do is shut down the asphalt plant as well at the moment because no one's really using it at the moment. Because most of my construction offices are on the... Uh, on over here on this asphalt plant. And of course eventually the primary... the asphalt plant up in this area will take over and of course other asphalt plants and concrete plants and various other bits and pieces I mean generally up here things are going pretty good we finished this medium distribution office which we're going to be using to send out various supplies and stuff where should we need them this is nearly finished I need to make sure is this well, we've got Graviton main construction on it Winchester construction and we got that there, and we got that there. Yeah, steel again. So I would like to get this on. I mean, the bitumen plant has got um, bitumen in it, or the tank has. And I want to check that. Yeah, so got the Winchester construction working on that as well. So I would guess that we're going to have the asphalt plant running a bit fast um, earlier than the uh, what we call it, the uh, 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 the concrete plant. Sorry. Now, something else I want to do is over here, is I've got this rail track at the moment kind of hanging loose. So what I want to do is get rid of you. Just get rid of that little bit of road there. Get rid of this track here. And what I want to do is put in the back loop here to connect up these railways here, or railway lines. Oh, there's something about a hundred and about 165 so I want to come off around roughly around where that tree is I'm gonna bring this track round like that oh there's a, I had a fire and I didn't even notice and then we're gonna give you a little bit of a natural curve in like that and then of course what I'd like to do is come in this way going to be a bit tight isn't it okay we're gonna to have to be a little bit generous here or oh. I if I, if I kind of come out a little bit like that oh no, don't do that then we come in I think I can get away with that a little bit tighter than I would have liked but I don't think I've got a lot of option and what that will do is give me a link that will allow trains from the different directions around here to go across and eventually cross this bridge and go the other way so we'll accept that let's just get back and I want to just check my rail construction we're up to 1.3 million this guy he's finished that track so let me just get over to here he's probably going to tell me that I've got only got the one job. So hopefully we're going to get these two tracks laid in. Anything else I need to do? I'm just actually I'm just going to speed the game back up again. So let's see if we can get to the green view so that I can actually start to plan Gravelton. And I wouldn't mind putting the main infrastructure in here for Petrograd as well. And what I'm thinking is up here is some kind of uh, passenger station logistics center here. Or, although to be honest, do I really need a passenger station here? Because this is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. In fact, I'm going to have to push kind of Petrograd up to there. So I don't really need a. Uh, a passenger station. I've got a passenger's platform there. 
would it be easier just to do it with buses? Well, it's not exactly a great distance, is it? I mean, I'll still keep the passenger station here because we can bring in workers from Winchester or, or we can send out workers. Let me see. I mean, truthfully, if we're going to bring workers into here, we're going to need bus stations. We've got one bus station there. We've got no bus station associated with... Uh, I think I might still put in a, a, a small... Um, uh, passengers stop up here because what will happen is that the town will probably have to expand this way and possibly even cross over this road here so we can't I think of where would I put I mean this isn't exactly the flattest terrain is it in fact I think there's a horrible dip there isn't there I mean, ideally, what I would like is the the logistics centre for trains here. Oops, fire. I mean, what I would like is to have that logistics centre set up so that I can feed directly into the store. Okay, oh, we're we're fine here. Oops. <laughs> okay, this is actually could be a little bit um, key. Oh no, here goes the fire crews. They're on it. We go here. <laughs> and the boys are on it going forward. So the population is growing, but at the same time, it's kind of being absorbed. Actually, curiosity, where are the over 21s? That's unusual. I, don't, I mean, they're kind of. I think what we'll do is we'll hook out, out a few out of here. Drop them in here. It's about 20. Any more? So they're like kind of just oh, Winchester. I probably took too many out. I don't want to Portsmouth. I probably took too many out of. Uh, so we've got a few up here. So maybe we'll just book out a few more now, because we're not far away from the end of winter. So I think I can afford to. I don't know, one, two. Four. And then we're going to pick out a few more there. How's the old production? Wow, <laughs> these guys are going like a house on fire. You can see me having a big supply of coal here. We've got the footpaths. Some not really getting the people into the fire station I was hoping for. I think... Oh, yes, they are. They've just all arrived. Oh, so, yeah. We've got a few more workers in the fire station now. I really need... I've just noticed something. I don't think you've actually got a footpath connection. No, you haven't. Well, we need that connected up. Get that built. Gravelton main construction on that. Actually, let's have a quick look around. We've got all the road connections in. Got a road connection, you've got a road connection. You've got road connections. You've got road connections. You've got road connections. We've got road connections there. Um, anything else over here that's not connected? I did miss out the connection for the ore refinery. I think that's now in place. This this road here. Um, I think this is still to be built as well. Uh, one thing I do want to check is up here is. I had a bit of a problem with the road that was running over here. Oh, it's finished now. Yeah, well, I, had, I had quite a few um, trucks piling up here, waiting for, oops, uh, for waiting for the uh, the paver. Sorry, brain faded a little bit. 
missing resources as felt. It's almost like again these guys are waiting for the paver, which could be a problem. I was hoping to get this farm kind of laid out and ready to go for um, this season, but I don't think it's going to happen. And there's no way we're going to finish off. I mean, we haven't even finished the excess roads at the moment, so so I'm going to have to lose the output of this farm for another year. Although at the moment we still got plenty of food in here, and things are coming together. Let me just see. So we're kind of creeping the money up, but it's not growing as fast as I was hoping for. Looks like we've actually finished the what we call it road here but it's a little bit difficult to see there it is there when I mean, all these little sections are being a bit of a pain in the neck we're connecting this up and until I've got this connected I can't really send out a trolley bus so we've got Portsmouth North crew I think I want haven't construction and haven't road crew on there now going forward what I'm going to be doing is keeping the Havant Road crew here and the Havant Construction here, these two. Well, I'm going to shut this supply crew down. At the moment, you can see oh, they've got no jobs at all. Um, I don't think um, we could let you give an assist up here. Um, I'll let you have an assist on that. And we do need that built as well. You can have an assist on there. Now if I, oops, thank you game. Now if I come back over here, these two construction offices are now completely empty. I've moved out all the vehicles, so what I'm gonna do is to, to just destroy these. They've served their purpose. And this is Portsmouth Groundwork, so you can go as well. And we'll just take the crates out. Oh, that means I've got a little bit of space here for some, if, if for some reason I should need it. So they've gone. These construction offices over here, I've stripped some of the vehicles out of them. But again, you, you guys are. <laughs> I think. I don't know whether you can give an assist or something over here. I mean, a lot of the roads are kind of finished. Um, maybe we'll just assign you. You're finished. Just give you assists you're just you guys are rolling out things you can build that in there uh, I mean I don't think they're going to be much use so eventually I would like to kind of pay them off as well take a look at this guy he's probably got not much to do as well you're working on the big warehouse up in Petrograd I think at the moment the priority needs to be up here. I need to get this um, coal-fired power station up and running. Actually, I've just written, um, and I wouldn't mind getting. Oh, I'll just give him that as well. And actually, let's just you. Is this being built? Yes, it has. If we can give an assist with that as well, because I certainly want the heating up and running by next year actually uh, we got we got this area here how about the this is built they're certainly not hanging around with the uh, what we call it the the footpaths it's just this is made because of course the access to the gravel is quite close so you're yeah, ready to go we just work away here. Ideally, I would like to have all this built before the next winter. Petrograd Construction East. Oh, uh, putting an expansion city on that one. I think the big constraining factor is going to be the uh, what we call it the um, the supply of steel. Sorry, brain faded a little bit there. Mm. What am I getting? Uh, 
let me see. As the what type of how many jobs have you got? Because uh, you're virtually finished. So okay, I've got you. You've got a monumental task to do. One, two, three. You're going to be my conveyor construction team. So hopefully they will be able to bring up whatever I need to get that built. I really would like to get this built to say before winter. Ranch and farm construction. Actually, who was this guy who had nothing to do? Maybe we're... I know it's a long way away, but if we can get an assist, I've lost the building. Where is it? Just put an assist on them. Actually, are you allocated to know somebody? No, you're not. Okay, we're going to get Hellas construction on that iron farm crew, and we'll get Winchester on that as well. The money's creeping up, but it's going to take a long time to get to 1.5 million, isn't it? Over here, things are going reasonably well. Um, I don't know if you can set this to um, aluminium oxide. Kind of set this up. So we've got that there. This is getting there again it steals the problem um, I'm certainly going to put you on mansion construction and Hellas it'd be really good to get some workforce into here so that we can start producing some adding monoxide I mean there is the potential to actually export that but but we've got it's starting to last the let's just check yep one more length of track to build and then we'll have this line connected in so we are now green at last and i can actually kind of see a little bit better of what's going on so we are making a lot of progress or reasonable progress what I'm hoping now is that because we've got this actually up and running, we should start getting some more money flowing in. Right, this building doesn't have a power supply. Oh, there's a problem. Uh, what is this? This is a switch, isn't it? You're not actually allocated to anyone. Um, why have I got Petro two Petrograd West? And get the art. We need to get this built so I've got I haven't actually put the power in here bit of a fail <laughs> um, okay this is not a this is just a switch isn't it now we got a couple of power takeoffs so if I let's just check that I've built this correctly We've got power coming in from this side, power coming in from this side. We've got two kind of power supplies running in. Part of me would like to connect the two together. we got power here. So kind of a little bit inclined to put a kind of power connector just about here. One of the big big not full weight uh, I think that's quite big but I want it kind of away from the building so I have to have something like that there but run you in there perhaps and then can't remember what, what are these um and what they are let's have a look I think they're, they're, 10, they're not 10 megawatts. Oh, they're 
They're six megawatts, aren't they? We're getting six megawatts down to here. I think I can live with that. So, say for example, I run this about there. And then, I have to run out to about there. Oh, come off it, game. I've outsmarted myself. Cancel that. We're just going to come in the opposite way. Let me say about there. And then you can come across the back there. And then hopefully you will run in there like that. Oh, we got fire. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more. I want to have the fire cruiser on it. <laughs> About to say that's in the wrong place and life could have been very interesting there um now I, I want to take off one action box saying I put this about here no fragments sake there but I use a mud road to just try and speed things up a little bit and then we're And then you can go in there. And we'll assign you to Grand East. Actually, we'll get Havoc Construction out here as well. They, they tend to be the uh, cabling specialists. And I certainly want this built. So uh, we have Island Farm and Havoc Construction on that as well. Now, as far as I know, this is working. Right. Now, I'm aware that I've this video is already nearly at full length and I haven't really done anything what I intended to do in this video. So, we better start. I think what I'm going to have to do for this video is we're just going to concentrate on Gravelton. Then, in the next video, I'll do the thing. And I'm just going to slow the game up a little bit. I don't want this to run away too much with me. As I said, what I want is a population around here of about 2,000 workers. So what we're thinking is... I'm, I'm actually going to do this quasi-properly at the moment. I don't want great big massive buildings out here. I want to go back to some of my traditional buildings. Now this holds 220 workers and it has a hot water tank of 15 cubic meters. So if I build 10 of those, 10 of these, that means I'm going to need 150 cubic meters of uh, what we call it, uh, of hot water. Let me just see. If I come in here, if we build a small heating plant, this produces 210. So say for argument's sake, I put in a, a small heating plant over here like that that should be close enough to Gravelton provide uh, it's a bit too close really isn't it um, maybe if I can put this say that's say for argument's sake I put it there a kind of little bit of an odd position and then maybe we just bring the you ought to come out this way and then put the road down there where's the pipe connections it's not we want heating pipes don't we the pipe connections are there so what we're going to really need is the the kind of accommodation coming out here so i'm kind of maybe we we'll push this road out like that as well so we've got a bus platform here we've got a shop here um, I'm not going to put a university in here because what I'm going to do is try and experiment to see whether the people who want a university education here will actually commute by bus 
to Winchester here. Let's have a look here. I mean, the population is kind of creeping up. So there's 11 citizens. Can't you get to hospital? Be able to. What's up with the hospital? I suppose it's down to workforce. I think it's going to take a little while for this area to kind of chip up a little bit. Okay, let me just get back to here. So we got the shopping centre there. I'm inclined to put because the um, heating's over there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in a small clinic. I mean, this should be more than enough for. I mean, I think if we put the clinic about there. And that will actually be in range of the heating plant. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure they're going to be a hardy lot out here. And let's just put in the residential here. And I'm going to do something I don't normally do, which is I normally I don't plan virtually a whole town as a one-off. And what I normally do is I put in enough to get started and then I let the town kind of grow I think in this case we're gonna maybe if we have a little bit of an angle like that just go the wireframe which I could come up like that can I maybe we'll be a little bit boring and I think maybe we'll put an office block Got an office block, a block of flats there. Spin you round. Yep. We're gonna, these are 220, aren't they? We're going to need about 10 of these, aren't we? I, I mean, I don't want them all jam packed in really tight. So maybe if we put in. A, push this round a little bit. Maybe if we um, uh, put... that gives me five there. If we have one facing the store, kind of roughly in line with that one, and then we spin you round like that. you about there then we can we put some well, we need a school don't we so what we can do is we got this air kind of area here like this and then what we can do is just put a put kind of kindergarten on the end here like that So we're going to build this with uh, vanilla type and often I often put the school opposite actually let's put the school down here that kind of square that up a little bit then what we can do is put a footpath literally right behind this here and then we'll just put a footpath and bring you out like that bring you round like that bring you all the way through to there you can come out to there and no, we'll put the footpath there. Have a fire. <laughs> that a surprise. And just trim that off there. And we'll just accept that for the moment. I think this would be a reasonable foundation. We got a kindergarten, a school, a clinic, a hospital. These should all be in range of the shop. 
and then we'll just kind of plan this out a little bit. Okay, just take off the. Whoops. <laughs> That's interesting. We've got 1.4 million in clothes scattered around the map. Okay, just come here. Just turn off the wireframe. Time's been put out. And I'm aware time is pushing on. This video's in risk of going very overly long. So um, what we need to do is just um, put on the island farm here. And we'll just make sure these are allocated. Um, that won't let me go there. That road's not built yet, so I'm going to have to come in this way. Island farm road crew. Uh, expansion city road crew can come to this one you can island road crew and expansion city road crew I'm a little bit disappointed I'm not earning the money that I thought I'd be earning so we're gonna need to build this as well gravity construction is on that and we've actually finished uh, here Far off my off of Island Road crew, Winchester Construction. Let's steal again. Oh, thank you, game. Actually, these guys. <laughs> Gotten all about you. I don't think you've actually. Yeah, well, you've got plenty of stuff. You're kind of hooked to things. You've got any jobs? Yeah, you've got more jobs than you know what to do with. Um, I mean, eventually this will become a road crew. I'm kind of tempted to bring this online, but I think I'd rather do it using the conveyors. Uh, Gravity and Winchester construction crew. It'll be a bit kind of uh, weird here. I'm going to see if I think you can get away with that allocate you into there. Possibly put you on there as well. I know it's a long way away, but I'm hoping that what have we got in here? I don't seem to have we only got the one covered hole. And a source steel. Yep. Um I think I wouldn't mind uh, another covered hole in here as well. Oh. I mean, these guys aren't really doing much. Oh, <laughs> that guy's woken up. Let me just see. Okay, this is finished. I think what we'll do... We really do need a big push with respect to the oil refinery. Although we also need the port, but this road isn't finished yet. And we got an oil tank here, but this is not finished yet. So we're kind of filling in the gaps, but not as quickly as I was hoping for. Oh, you can you can get there. Just okay. Um, This, this is nearly finished that would be great to get that finished so in the next part we can start thinking about building these bridges across to get that connection have a quick look at the that's the route of coal now so we've either got iron or coal we, we can't seem to get this working consistently at the moment but I think we're, we are pushing a lot of steel out. It's just that things are not going completely accord. Anyway, I've just passed the hour for this video. So what we're going to do is just have a quick health check. These guys are now starting to harvest. So we've kind of got loads and loads of logs in here now. I think in the short term, I'm going to keep these guys on here just to, as a backup. That's probably the polite way of saying it. Oh, we've got 276. How's the population here? Yeah, we're okay. I think they've cheered up a little bit now. So just to finish off, we're going to have another move the 21 session. We've got some down here. 
these tower blocks are always seem to be popular. These guys have got 430 in and we're just pull about 20 out from the center there. Just kind of about about 30 out of there. Then we're up one, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to take too many out there because they're close to my food factory. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's four. And okay, we've probably got some over 21s in here. Yep. And well, pull a couple out of there. Some out of there. So we're one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. That, I mean, there's not that many over 21s in here, so these should disappear relatively quickly. And we got no over 21s in here. Okay. <laughs> so, let's have a look. We've got some more in here. So it does take a little while for them to kind of spread out and adjust. I think we'll pull some from here actually, I think as well. And we'll just drop you in here. We've got the shopping mall is now open. So of course I'm gonna have to spend some money on this now. And I think what we're gonna do is get a have to buy them. I don't didn't really want to buy covered holes, but I mean, these carry eight tons of food, and that would do a couple of these. You're going to pick up from here, and it's short term, you're going to have to deliver there. But you're going to pick up food there, deliver there. And where are we getting clothes from? I think the clothes are coming up from... Um, we don't have a lot of clothes though, do you? And we just see, maybe these guys can make the long journey down to here. Oh, actually we're a bit short on clothes at the moment. Oh well. Okay, I think... don't really want to... Yeah, we're not really bringing anything up to here at the moment. So, ah, okay, these guys have wandered off. And I think what we'll do in the short term is we'll pull the clothes from here. And deliver there. Yeah. And I want to keep the full stuff. Actually, no, we'll just drop the staff down a little bit. Yeah. Quite like this mold, but the proportion is kind of a bit the wrong way round, actually, isn't it? Um, let me just see. What's the walking distance? Yeah. I've got a feeling I might not build these. I might move some of them. In fact, let's get rid of them. I think I'll leave them in the short term. But I think what I might do is the next. Um, ta um, tower block I build into here. Uh, it's quite interesting. I'm putting this mud road in that we're now picking up um, logs from this side of the rail tracks. Anyway, that's looking good. Oh, look at this. We're nearly there. There we are. Well, not, not quite nearly there, but. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we may eventually get to about 1.5 million and I can start building some tankers. But probably in the next part, I'm going to carry on the way I am now. And I will be definitely trying to plan Petrograd, Petrograd up here. Because I really feel I need to lay this um, city out here. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.